Hello everyone, my name is Shay Eichley. I am at MC Machinery's Southeast Technical Center in Concord, North Carolina. I am here with Adam. Today he is going to be talking a little bit about the Sinker EDM. Adam, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself first and what you do here at MC Machinery. Yeah, hi, thank you. Yeah, my name is Adam Weisup. I'm Applications Engineer here at MC Machinery Systems. Uh, I work out of the Southeast Technical Center here and I'm responsible for the demos on the demos and test cuts on the Sinker and the wire and uh, the Roku Roku machines that we offer. All right, so let's get into what a Sinker is, but before we do that, Tell us the difference between a wire and mm -hmm. sinker EDM. Well, the main difference between the two is the wire is going to use a wire that comes off of a roll, right? Whereas in the sinker, it's going to use some kind of graphite or a copper material that we're going to mount in the head or in the table in some cases, and we're going to make this shape into the metal then. Into the metal, okay. And so we hear sometimes that machine operators have troubles with the wear on the electrodes. Can you talk mm -hmm. a little bit about what Mitsubishi does different with their machines to decrease that wear? Yeah, sure. Particularly on older sinker models that are out there, some people they might have to use four or five, even six electrodes on some of their different yeah. burns and cavities and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But as a the machines got newer and we're able to sense the spark in real time and make decisions on what happens with that spark using our fuzzy logic and being able to either retard the spark or make it more aggressive in certain conditions. Okay. So that in turn will protect the electrode material um, and then give you less wear and then give you less you'll need less electrodes for that burn a lot of times. That's interesting. And can we go into a little bit about the types of parts that this machine is going to be good for? Sure. Yeah. A lot of different mold inserts will be made this way. Any kind of injection molding stuff will be done on the, one of these synchro machines, but just the parts that they have to make the hard parts to the machine. Um, we've been doing recently a lot of medical protection parts where okay. it'll be just like a slot in the part where it might be a burr concern or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes it's a, uh, uh, to hit a particular quantity of parts as well. Can you touch on the materials that you guys are using for, on these machines? So this machine, again, it'll cut anything that will be conductive. And then okay. as far as so any kind of steel, any hardened alloys, copper alloys, any hard, um, carbide materials. So we have a generator for our machine that's really good on carbide as well. Okay, and then lastly, let's touch on service and support. We know that MC Machinery is known for that. So why don't you mm -hmm. tell everyone what you guys do here to support customers? Uh, so basically we, we support every machine we've ever sold. Um, we don't have any cutoff date for when we won't support it. We stock and service parts um, right out of our Chicago location. Um, and yeah, we, we service every machine we've ever sold. There's not one out there that we won't service. Awesome. All right, Adam, well, thanks for being with us. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, reach out to MC Machinery or our team at Cronson Saunders. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.